Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we will learn how to write equal group number sentences and we're also going to learn how to multiply by 10. Now I have a group of colored tiles here today and we are going to be putting these into groups of 10. If you have some objects I would like for you to put them into groups of 10 as well. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. In this bowl, I had two groups of ten. Ten, twenty. Two groups of ten equals twenty. If we were to write this in a number sentence, we would write groups of with what looks like an X. Two groups of ten equals twenty. Hmm. Let's count out groups of ten to see how many squares are in this bowl. At five. I would like for you to count out groups of 10 objects as well and put them into little groups. Four groups of 10 equals 40. Do you remember the short way for writing groups of? I can say four groups of 10 equals 40. Our X is short for saying groups of. Sometimes we use the word multiply. Four multiplied by 10 equals 40. Let's try this again with another number. Here we have another bowl of squares and we're going to count them out in groups of 10. I would like for you to count out groups of 10 objects as well and put them into little groups. Six groups of 10, you would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Six groups of 10 equals 60. Well, I can write this in a really short way by just saying six and then an X. And that X is short for groups of. Six groups of 10 equals 60. Let's take a look at some of these equal group questions. If there's three groups of 10, you would count by 10 three times. 10, 20, 30. Another way that we could write this problem is we could write it vertically. We could write it this way. Three groups of 10 would be 30. Well, what about this question? Seven groups of 10 equals did you say 70? Well done. We could also write this vertically. Oops, I was about to write a three, but I need a seven. Four groups of 10 equals 10, 20, 30, 40. And our last question, one group of 10 equals, well, that's easy, 10. Today, I would love for you to practice multiplying groups of 10. You can put some little objects into groups of 10, just like we did with our squares, and then you can count the groups. If there's three groups of 10, you would count by 10 three times, 10, 20, 30. If you have seven groups of 10, you would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Seven groups of 10. Oh class, I hope that you have a wonderful day and that you have fun playing with math today. Bye-bye.